Hello, this is the continuation of the Album Gen Basics series. Uh, this is the second of three videos that we're uh, putting up to help users to learn the basic functionality of uh, Album Gen. So this video will be uh, geared to show you how to align objects on the page and how to add your own images if you don't have a copy of Easy Stamp. So we left off in the uh, previous video and we've got these shapes kind of all over the place on the page and let me show you how you can uh, align things fairly easily. So there are some basic uh, alignment tools on the palette here on the on the front of the uh, the main screen of Album Gen. And again, as, a, as with everything else in Album Gen, when you hover over an icon, it'll tell you what it's going to do. So if you left, uh, before you can do any operation on object, you have to at least select one. So what we're gonna do here is see what each one of these uh, buttons does. So if we click on the line left, that's going to drop that, uh, push that object over to the left side of the page. I can then move it to the right side of the page, or I can center it. If I want to send it to the top, I click on send it to the top. If I want to set it to the bottom, I send it to the bottom. If I want it to the center of the page, I do that. Now that's great if you're just working with uh, one object, but what about if you're working with three? So let's say I have the, I want to get these guys here arranged, these, these three objects. So what you first have to do is give it your reference object. In other words, what you want all the other objects to be aligned to. So let's say I want, uh, this is going to be my reference object, and I want these two objects to align to the top of that one. So I, what I do is I left click on the reference object, then I hold the shift key, and left click on the other two objects and then I go and do whatever operation I want to do. So let's say I wanted to align these to the top. Now if I click this it's going to send all three to the top of the page which is really not what we want to do. To do what we want to do we have to first get the um, alignment palette. So we go to the view menu and show the alignment palette which is here. Now there's a whole slew of uh, uh, alignment options here, but don't, don't get overwhelmed by them. Each one of them is, is very simple and uh, self-explanatory for the most part. So these three objects we wanted to align to the top. So if we take a look here, it's this guy right here, which aligned to the top edge. And remember, this was our reference object right here. So if we click here, all these three objects now are perfectly aligned with the top of each other. Now. If you take a look, they're not very evenly distributed. This one has, you know, a tiny space. This one has a large space. So there is a function that will distribute these um, evenly for you. And the way that works is you have to tell it where the first object is by left clicking on it. Then you shift and click on the leftmost object, sorry, the rightmost object, and then you click on any others that you need. And now what you want to do is you want to distribute these evenly between that space and that is what this is here, distribute horizontally. If you take a look now, those three objects are um, evenly spaced. Now again, those objects are not centered on the page yet, so what you want to do is to center this group on the page, you must first group these items, and that's done with a control G. Notice how these uh, shapes now have an orange uh, handles around them. That's to tell you that they will be treated as one object or a group. So now to center these on the page, we could do it through here, which is center horizontal. Uh, what did I do there? Uh, this guy here, sorry. So now these three objects are horizontally centered on the page. If I wanted, I wanted them centered vertically as well, we could do it through this object here. So now they're in the cent perfect center of the page. You could also have done that here. To ungroup an object again is you just do the reverse uh, control U to control uh, for an ungroup. All these objects, all these uh, commands are available in the menus. Uh, every almost every functionality in uh, in uh, Album Gen is available through the menu. So there's your ungroup and group. Um, so let's see what else I can show you here. So we can do the same kind of thing where we can distribute things vertically. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of these down here. Let's move them up so I got some spacing. Okay. 
So first thing I would probably want to do is to align these so that they are um, aligned to the left edge of at least one of these. So I'm going to say, okay, I want them all to be aligned to the left edge of this reference object. So I left click on that and then I shift and click on all the others. And now what I want to do is I want to align to the left edge. So you click here. So now all these objects are perfectly aligned with this top one. Again, the spacing here is, is not very even, so I want to distribute them evenly. So the way you do that is you left click on the reference object first, then your last object, and then you left click on each of the others so that they're all selected. And now what we want to do is we want to distribute these vertically. In other words, space them evenly. And if you look now, they're all spaced evenly. Now, if I wanted these centered in the page, again, I first have to group them. So I do a control G and now I say, okay, I want you to center these on the page. So page horizontal center and there you are. So that group of objects is now perfectly centered within the page. Okay, so now let's show you how you, um, you can add an image to any object in, uh, in Album Gen. The key thing to learn about Album Gen is you need to right click on an object once you've selected it. I'm going to ungroup these first. I'm going to um, right click which um, brings up all the properties that you can uh, place on an object. The first thing we want to do is click on add change an image. So we're going to click on add and I'm going to pick a location where I have a bunch of images. And I'm going to pick that guy. And there you go. So what Album Gen does is it places that image within that object as you specify. Now it, it will shrink or expand the image to fit the box as required. Now there are many other properties that are available um, to almost any object in Album Gen, but I'll just show you a couple. Again, if you right click on it, you go to properties, we can change the borders. So here's how you can change it from a hairline, which is just basically a single line. You can go to a four point, which is a lot thicker. You can see a, a preview of it. You can go, uh, go to a six point triple. So that's kind of a fancy border, depending on your needs and what you're trying to do. You can use that and we'll do that there. So it's kind of hard to see um, unless you zoom in, but with Album Gen, you just hover over the area that you want and then hit the escape key on your keyboard and you'll zoom in and you'll see that there is our triple border. Hit the escape key again and it'll zoom out. Again, if you right click, go to properties, we can place text on the object. So let's say I wanted to put, um, let's say over the image that this was Scott number one. I'm not sure that that's what it is, but we'll just pretend here. And there it is. If you zoom in again, you'll see there's whatever, Scott, uh, whatever text that you want to place. And you can put text below the border, above the border, inside. I'll show you again. Go to text. So you can put above the border. You can put below. And we've already done inside. Uh, oh, sorry, we've done over the image. Let's uh, put something right inside and get rid of the stuff we put over the image and click OK. So now if you zoom in, there's what we placed above, inside and below. And again, you can change the fonts to be whatever you want. Uh, what else can I show you here for the basics? Um, there are many, many functions available. One of the, the nice things, if you're trying to just kind of align objects, um, you can use um, our nudge. So for example, right now I'm going to take this object and I'm going to move it five millimeters in five millimeter increments until I'm happy with what I want. Uh, you can change the nudge amount by going to uh, the selection here and choose anything from one millimeters to 25 or if you click on custom, you can change it to whatever you want, like three millimeters or two millimeters. So I think I'll stop here for now and uh, we'll uh, continue on with the third, uh, third video to cover the basics of Album Gen.